what happens if I keep the club in front of my body as my body starts to open up? My shoulders start unwinding. Now all of a sudden the club is pushed out here. If you're struggling with an over the top move, that is one of the worst things you can do. That pushes that club out even farther. I often see that club shaft start to steepen up and now I have to kind of stand up and flip to correct that. So the idea or the feeling of having the club in front of your body in the downswing, I think can be really harmful. Now the proper way or the proper feeling you should get, nothing wrong with feeling like you do this when you go to the top of the backswing. You see here as I rotate to the top, that's a good hand arm position in relationship to my, my chest and my body. But from there, I wanna feel like as I'm opening up, as my rib cage, my thorax opens up, my left arm is gonna be cinched in pretty tight from that. I think this is one of the keys from people that talk about feeling connected. That's a really good feeling to have. Like the bicep or the left arm here is pushing against my left pec starting the downswing. Now if I raised back up, you can see that club really isn't in front of me very much anymore. It's more behind my body and my arms are kind of to the side trailing along. That's a good position. If you want to open up your body, you want to get in this position you see the pros doing where your hips and body and everything is opening up but your club is still from the inside. It's coming in the slot. That's the feeling that you have to have. Again, if I bring that club in front of my body, it's out here, way out of position. It needs to be feeling like it's behind my body. So I want you to do a couple practice reps for me. Go to the top of your swing. You can feel like the club stays in front of your body at the top of the swing. Pause at the top of the swing. Feel like that club is nice and high here. I'm in a powerful position. And as you start down, as the hips and the body start opening up, feel a little pressure between your left arm and your left pec. Then from there, here's the key. As you rotate on through, you can go ahead and let that release. Let that flow on through to a good full follow through. Do 10 reps for me. So it's gonna look like this. Top of the swing, really loaded up, great position there. Start down, feel that pressure in the left side of your body. And then three, or the third piece to concentrate on, go ahead and let that long flowing finish happen. Do 10 reps, pausing like that. Do 10 reps again, focusing one fluid swing, feeling that pressure in the side of your left arm. It's gonna look like that. Get a nice free flowing follow through. And then finally go ahead and hit a few golf balls. Let's see if I can crank one out here. Feeling pretty good today, I'm not gonna lie. All right, so that one pretty good right down the left center. Uh, pretty nice shot there.